Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Everest or Arcanize here back with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be going over a fun topic that hopefully doesn't get too ugly here. I understand people are going to have their own opinions. Stuff could get crazy, but we're all going to have to try and be at least somewhat civil down in the comments section. Just putting it out there. Probably still won't happen, but who am I if I don't try, you know? Today, we're going to be looking at Disney as a company, and are they ruining cinema? So, before we get into things, if you're new to the channel and you go on to enjoy this video, make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button. Disney, 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 Disney broke the all-time like studio box office record for one year this year back towards the end of july so it's now made the most money of any movie studio in one year ever and it did that in july so it still has so, so many more opportunities to make a lot more money. I mean, we have Star Wars, we have Frozen 2, we're supposed to have Maleficent 2. Like, Disney's just insane. Star Wars is a guaranteed billion dollars. Frozen 2 will at least get close. I'm positive. Maleficent should do very well. And so, it's clear that Disney is just an empire but are they one that needs to be brought down a notch? Because Disney has already made over $7 billion this year alone. And we're just over halfway through. So that's pretty insane. Like, that's kind of bannable. But they just play their cards right. And it's not even that they put out so, so many films. They're just good at picking and choosing what people want to see. And when you have all of these Disney movies coming out and making a billion dollars, the other movies that are trying, the smaller, lower budget movies, just get overlooked because the general uh, movie-going audience doesn't want to see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. No, it wants to see The Lion King. And... That's where some people are saying, you know, Disney is ruining cinema. And to an extent, I definitely agree with this. Because, sure, I like it when the Avengers movies do well. I love it when Marvel movies break records opening weekends. That's great. But I also enjoy movies like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Brightburn and all of this. And... These movies aren't doing very well because everyone's saving their money to go see a Disney movie. And there's also the thing where, you know, Disney movies are making such insane amounts of money that it's making the other movies look bad when they're actually not doing too bad. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood made $40 million opening weekend. That is a record for Quentin Tarantino movies. People are like, oh, only $40 million, ugh. Only $40 million? That's great for a Tarantino movie. What the heck? And so, even though I do like to go and see these big budget Disney films, and I like it when they do well, there needs to be some sort of way to balance the scales. Because I also like seeing these smaller movies that cannot compete at all. They can't do anything. Avengers Endgame made $2.8 billion at the worldwide box office. It's the highest grossing movie of all time. You know, Brightburn didn't do too great at the box office, but, you know, it made money. Nobody cares. It only made $34 million. That's awful. Oh, my God. Like... 
what can these smaller movies do, though? Yet in people's minds, it's like, oh, that movie was trash. It, it made no money. And so these Disney movies have all of the spotlight on them. They are the films people want to see. I also think this is a small part of why these other summer movies aren't doing very well because nobody wants to go see Men in Black International, Lion King, bro, Toy Story 4, dog. Let's go see this instead. And part of it is Disney just makes good movies, but some of them aren't good and they still make billions of dollars. So I'm not saying I don't like when some of these bigger budget movies make a ton of money. That's fine, but there definitely needs to be some way of balancing the scales out. I'm super curious to see what you guys think of all this. So down in the comments below, go and leave your opinion on this matter. And if you enjoyed me just kind of talking to you guys about something I'm interested in, leave a like on the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.